The outdoor drama Tecumseh has been thrilling audiences and visitors to the Scioto Valley since 1973. The Litter Media cameras visited Sugarloaf Mountain Amphitheater for a preview the week of opening night for the 2018 season. After a nearly two-decade-long absence, Brent Gibbs returns as director of Tecumseh. I last directed the show in 2001. You know, the show has remained in, in great condition. Um, I was surprised when I came back how timeless it is. So uh, it's funny because you have different people here every year, but the spirit is still the same and the approach to the work is still the same, so that makes it all worthwhile. In his fourth season as producer of the show, Brandon Smith describes preparation for opening night. It's like anticipating a tornado in a sense where you kind of know what's going to happen, but anything could happen. <laughs> and so you try to be prepared for any of that. Matt Nelson spent 2017 as the understudy to Ryan Reed as Tecumseh. But for 2018, the role is all his. It was a really um, great experience to have coming into this year. Um, because Ryan was a was like a kind of like an older brother to all of us in the cast and so for me to get to understudy him uh, kind of see how he went about his process of tackling uh, you know such a larger than life character uh, you know allowed me to kind of have a step ahead in my own preparation for this year I would say that Matt, you know, coming back as Tecumseh is really a blessing for us because he's wonderful in the role. He's very natural in the role. I haven't had to do a whole bunch of, uh, of, of directing of Matt. I've really just been able to tell him a few things and then he takes that and he runs with it and then we refine that later. So it's been a very streamlined process because he understands it on a very instinctual level, I think. Matt Nelson, who is uh, our Tecumseh this year, uh, he's back for his, uh, I think it's his third year uh, in the show, but his first year is Tecumseh. He's done it with such ease. He's, he's uh, sat into this role with such ease that uh, I've not seen another actor do. Those of you who have seen Tecumseh before, I think you're going to want to see Matt in this production. My first year, I, I had to really dig into Sorrow in Our Heart to kind of find the characters that I was playing. But from the get-go, whether it was uh, doing research online or going to the library or, or reading some of Eckert's work, you know, because Tecumseh was was mainly the focal point of the story, so I got a lot of a lot of good information this year. Talk about your other roles that you've played here in the. Oh man, uh, well, so my first year I played Chief Kikas Galawa, um, so that part always has a, has a special uh, special place in my heart. But the interesting thing about my first year was um, we had a lot of we had a lot of shows where people were either sick or we had to do covers, or people were away. And so instantly there would be a show where I would be the narrator doing the sign language at the beginning for Jenny Mail's Tecumseh, and then I would go to regular Indian, back to Kikas Galawa, to Chief Blackhoof, to back to a regular Indian, back to Chief Blackhoof. So my first year, I really, I was very fortunate that I got to tackle a lot of the roles um, within within some of the minor characters in the play. And then my second year, uh, as you know, I was Tecumseh understudy, but I was also Chixika Shalbini. So at the same time as I was understudying Ryan, I was, I was in the role of his older brother. Um, you know, so kind of already having that family uh, dynamic with him on stage and getting to work with uh, Ryan and Steve and, and all those guys. Um, and then this year I'm T, and it's a blessing, you know. It's... Oh, uh, it's so much fun. It's it's a bigger responsibility and challenge than I think I realized my first two years. Um, but it's just a it's a heck of a lot of fun. I think it changes with every group that comes in to try to tell the story. Uh, you know, this year our focus has been on just trying to tell the story as best we can with as much respect uh, as we can and uh, to pack as much action and good acting and uh, high production values into it as we can. So I think that's always everybody's focus. For those who have seen the show before, that it would be a good time to come back and check it out again because, uh, you know, there's always new details with every group that, that comes in to tell the story. Um, I would say that those who haven't seen it, that this is an opportune time to come. Um, you know, it's uh, the arts are, uh, 
are a really important way for us to bridge gaps in this world. Uh, and, and it's certainly my hope that we can bridge as many gaps as possible by telling this story. TecumsehDrama.com is open 24 hours a day. Uh, and our box office uh, on site is now open as well. Uh, and they're here from 1 o'clock till 9. You can call or come out. Uh, or you can get tickets downtown at the Tecumseh Trading Company. We have a full ticketing system down there too. So we try to make it as easy as we can.